Good morning and happy Monday. For some students, it will be your first day in the building. So we have your news updates and more right here on WELK News. Good morning, my name is Ms. Clark. And before we get into today's news program, let's get our pledge from Joshua. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, in liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Joshua. We don't have any new events on our calendar check today, so let's get the weather from Megan. Thank you so much. Let's look at the five day weather forecast for this week. Today it will be partly cloudy with a temperature at a high of 80 and the humidity at 79%. Winds are blowing southwest at 8 miles per hour. The chance of rain today is 20%. Scattered thunderstorms are very likely to occur tomorrow. Temperature is a high of 77. The chance of rain is 40%. The rest of this week will most likely have rain, but you know what they say, the sun will come out tomorrow, and it will on Friday with the high of 66, so you can enjoy your weekend with sunshine and happiness. Halloween season is here. Get your costumes on and bag some candy. Back to the anchors. Thank you. Now for some school news. For those of you who are still interested in joining FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, there will be a sign up link down low with more information if you are interested. Hello, this is Mr. Harris from WELK. Overall, it has been a great beginning of our virtual school year and WELK News has helped us to stay connected. Something has been missing from the news though. We have not had a Multicultural Monday segment. One of the awesome things about Elkton High School is our diversity. We have students and teachers that are from or have lived in countries all over the globe. With that, we have many languages spoken by our students and staff. Multicultural Monday segments both celebrate cultures and inform the school about cultures around the world. One thing that has really made this segment special has been reporting about these cultures in more than one language. In order to keep this opportunity for the school to hear different languages and the opportunity for students to showcase their languages, we need some bilingual students to join the news crew as multicultural correspondents. So, do you speak any languages other than English in your home or with your family? Would you like to share the beauty of that language with the school? If so, you are the perfect candidate. We would like to invite you to complete the interest and application form for this unique opportunity. Just go to tinyurl.com forward slash EHS Bilingual News. Now, just to let us remember how cool it was to hear other languages on our news show, Ms. Wilcoxon will share the same story update in Espanol. Hola, yo soy la señora Wilcoxon, la profe de inglés para hablantes de otros idiomas en Elkton High School. Por lo general, ha sido un buen comienzo para este año escolar virtual. Las noticias Welk no, no se han conectado muy bien. Sin embargo, las noticias le faltan algo. Un segmento especial, un segmento multicultural los lunes. Un aspecto impresionante de Elkton High School es la diversidad nuestra. Así que tenemos profes y alumnos que vivían y tienen herencia en todas partes del mundo, incluso miembros de esta comunidad que hablan otros idiomas. Lo especial de este segmento multicultural es informar de las culturas en otros idiomas. Para que podamos demostrar esas culturas e idiomas, necesitamos a algunas personas multilingües que quieran compartir sus habilidades como correspondientes bilingües. ¿Cuáles idiomas hablas tú en casa o con familia? ¿Quieres compartir la belleza de esos idiomas con toda la escuela? Si es así, eres el candidato o la candidata perfecta. Te invitamos a completar una encuesta para esa oportunidad única. Sigue ese enlace. Muchas gracias por tenerme en Elkton High School. 
Hasta ahora he tenido muchas oportunidades de practicar el segundo idioma mío, español. ¡Nos vemos! If you are interested in becoming a part of the WELK News Program for our Multicultural Monday correspondent, please check out the link below. And speaking of multicultural, we have a special announcement for you. Beginning in 1988, September 15th through October 15th has been recognized by the United States government as National Hispanic Heritage Month. During this time each year, Hispanic Americans are honored for their important contributions that they have made and continue to make in science, literature, art, music, culture, and more in the United States of America. Throughout the country, Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated in a variety of ways. Here at Alton High School, we enjoy an awesome celebration of Hispanic Heritage last year, and we are looking forward to this year's celebrations. There's more information to come, so be on the lookout for a way you can participate in honoring our Hispanic community. Thank you. Now for our new face-to-face -face students, we also have a special announcement for you from our very own Nurse Zach. Hi, my name is Ethan and I'm really excited to head back to school and see all my friends. This year will be a little bit different though. We will all be wearing masks to keep each other safe. Today I want to show you some tips on wearing your mask at school. Remember, when you're at school, to keep your mask on all the time, unless your teacher tells you it's okay to take it off. Try not to touch your mask or your face. If your mask gets wet or dirty, it's a good idea to have a backup one. Just like this. Sharing is caring, but not when it comes to your mask. Don't share your mask with your friends. Whenever you have to take your mask off, remember to wash your hands for 20 seconds first. Grab the soft like this and take off the mask without touching the front of it. Keep the mask in a clean, safe place, like in a container or paper bag, until you're ready to put it back on. When you're ready to put your mask back on, make sure to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Grab the straps and put it behind your ears so your mouth and nose are covered. When your mask is back on, be sure to wash your hands one last time. Wearing a mask was hard at first, but I'm getting used to it now. If you're having problems wearing your mask, talk to a teacher, parent, or caregiver. Be safe and have fun at school. Thank you, Nurse Zach. Now for our sports update. Today there will be a field hockey game at 4 o'clock p.m. at Northeast. There will be golf at 4 o'clock versus Rising Sun at Patriots Glen, and a volleyball game, Varsity at 4 p.m. and JV at 5.15 at Rising Sun today. Just a reminder, only family are allowed to attend these events, but when you see them, or if you get a chance to speak to your classmates, make sure you show them some love today. Well, this has been your virtual episode of the WELK News Program for September 28, 2020. I am Ms. Clark. Thank you for tuning in today. Now, from all of us here at the WELK News Team, we want you to make it a great day the Elkton way.